The Ohio is one of the real cultural gems of our community. The orchestra shell that had been in the theater had been there for over 30 years, and the need for a new shell was pretty imminent. We wouldn't always be able to communicate be it strings to brass, woodwinds to piano. Communication lines were somewhat severed at times. What's important for the orchestra is not just how they sound, but how they sound to each other. They need to be able to hear each other across the stage. That's been very difficult for them in this old shell. So if you can't hear, you can't play well as an ensemble. Well, we actually started about two years ago with our first discussions about a new enclosure and how much it would cost and how much work it would take for us to tear out the old one and set up a new one. It was about a year after that where we started to really push the project forward. The first step is to, is to do a study and try to understand what the existing conditions are and determine what opportunities may exist to improve the acoustical conditions. We went through several revisions, uh, creating computer models, looking at each component, the towers on the rear and the sides of the shell, the ceiling panels and the reflector. We looked at the decoration that would be applied to that. With each conversation with CAPA, with each project team meeting, the revisions got stronger and stronger. What we tried to do was pull out the elements, the design elements that are quite eloquent and quite beautiful in the theater and try to recapture those on the shell. In August, once the movie series ended, we started receiving shipments of the new shell pieces. We started laying them out across the stage and installing the towers and putting all the sections together and raising them up on their bases. It was really quite a fun process, challenging, uh, but, but a lot of fun too. I think the biggest difference between the 1984 shell and the shell that's here today is that this one offers a lot more flexibility in the configuration so that the ceiling as it's lifted up above the side towers and the rear towers allows for the shape of the shell to conform to the grouping of musicians. It really enhances the musician's experience as well as the audience's experience. There are two series of horizontal shelves that wrap around the shell and those by a very important acoustical function, what they do is they essentially catch sound that's emanating from the instruments. The sound reflects off the walls and instead of then being directed up to the ceiling, they are intercepted by the underside of the shelf. Th those shelves are also sending sound energy more quickly to the seating area, so the sound quality has much greater clarity and intimacy. We have been able to load in all LED lighting, and LED lighting is very efficient, very cost effective, and it allows us to do a zillions of colors, and it really makes the shell become alive. It can almost do anything. The musicians are thrilled. We're still figuring out the, the tweaks here and there. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's one of those journeys that are to be enjoyed. Yeah, we had a good team that worked really hard to, to conquer all the challenges. I think the design of the shell came out fantastic. It really looks like it belongs in the Ohio Theater. We hope this will attract more people to come, to come look, and to come listen. We've tried to make it the very best we can. and We hope the new look will be exciting, that the new sound will be thrilling. Mm -hmm.